people, 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 people. Que passa, sapa, say what they do. Now the first thing that is popping in the news is a 18 year old youth and his name is Giovanni Dixon. And he was taken out in front of the Pelican Grill. I think that this is in Montego Bay on the hip strip. Not 100% sure. However, I am almost sure. Now, people, this is his picture right here. And like I said, he is 18 year old. Now, based on the information, it is said that the mother, she jerks chicken on the strip. And there are other jerk people that jerk chicken, jerk pork, rete, lele, blue, blah, blank. It is said that this man, Giovanni, pick up some water, some container with water, and him and the next vendor got into some sort of verbal altercation that ensued into some sort of physical altercation. And it is said that the man pushed him in his face and him pushed back the man. And then the man draw for some sort of kitchen utensil and bust him belly under, right under by him waist. And people, it is said that everything, all of his vital organs basically fall out. Now people, what makes this even more disturbing is the fact that it is said that the mother tried to rush him to the place of recovery. However, he passed out in his mother's hand. Now people, based upon the information, credible information, it is said that this youth is a jovial youth. However, people, you know most youths in Jamaica, especially from the garrison, them have a little face side about them. Especially when you try to diss them, especially when you push them, them now and take no talk. And people, like we say, this has led to a lot of persons losing their life in Jamaica because people don't like to be this. People now and take no this. However, the truth and the fact is that sometimes you have to walk away, live to see a next day. However, we saw that this youth made the choice he was going to defend himself and more than likely defend his mother and basically lose him life over some sort of container of water. Now people, this man basically, this youth basically lost his life over chopans, over not much, over some petty stuff and people, the truth and the facts that that is the case in most cases in Jamaica. It seems as if persons are frustrated. It seems as if persons are just on edge. They are trigger happy or really knife happy. That means uh, once you say anything to them, they are willing to take out that frustration on you over the simplest of things. So people, it only shows you the barbaric attitude of Jamaicans. It only shows you that they are some real, we are talking about numbskull. They are foolish. They will take out somebody's life. So therefore now people, two people doing business, they've been doing business side by side together. And people, the truth and the facts is that whenever you see anything like this, there is always some underlying story. There is always some sort of grievance because of jealousy. Or this one making X amount of money. Or this one take that one customer. So therefore it takes nothing to trigger off some sort of incident like that. However people it is sad to see yet again once more again an ex little youth lose his life. Because of tupiness. Because of ignorance. Because of the barbaric and evil. And we are speaking about some people that don't. Not to basically talk out anything, not to reason out anything. So therefore, the first or the second thing we are talking about, the tool, we are talking about the knife, or we are speaking about the gun. And then them end it all. In other words, says case scenario. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source and I have started uploading news items on that channel. And I will be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Also, please subscribe to this channel. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now people, the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that the residents of Jamaica and more specifically, the taxi man, the minibus man, them and the popo, they've been living like dog and puss. However, people, when you put in the transport authority in the equation, it even gets wasserer and wasserer. 
because people it seems as if the workers and people i am not saying that this applies to everybody that works for the transport authority i am just speaking in general it seems as if whenever they go in any sorts of situation they kind of make it worse so therefore they are the ones that are always instigating the popo and because them know them have the backing of the popo now people don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. You have some stubborn taxi man and some minibus driver. So therefore the people in basically are take it to the extreme. However, in a lot of cases we see that they are passing their places. I am speaking about the popo and I am speaking about also the transport authority. Especially when they have the backing of the popo, I am speaking about the transport authority. So people, there's a video that is circulating over social media and it shows the transport authority stop some sort of driver and people, they are getting out of hand. However, people understand that this is YouTube, so therefore I cannot show you just about any and everything for your satisfaction because then I'll be violating their policy. So people, take a listen, take a look to the edited version of this video and in this video you can see that they stopped somebody and then somebody was videotaping and one of the transport authority worker grab out the phone out of the man and uh, also push him down and he was also confronted by other members of the um transport authority so people take a listen take a look to the edited version and then i'll give my piece <laughs> Now people, like I said, I understand how Jamaicans are. They are very dark. A lot of these motorists, a lot of these drivers on the street, no respect for the rules, no respect for the regulation, no respect for the relevant authority, meaning the poor, poor transport authority and people at the end of the day. These persons are supposed to be doing their jobs. However, in many cases, we see uh, the police, transport authority they don't know the rules and the laws so therefore sometimes them cross a line however it is very hard when you are working in a situation wherein the person that you are supposed to be monitoring they are very indisciplined so therefore sometimes these people seem as if they have some sort of chip on their shoulder however the difference with the drivers and the transport authority and the popo is that those two sets popo transport authority workers they are supposed to be professional so therefore they are not supposed to cross the line they are supposed to be the last ones to cross the line so people i say this to say that a lot of times a lot of cases that we see we see so them cross the line and we see so people get hurt people get locked up people lose them vehicle However, people, in a lot of cases, it is not justified because sometimes it seems as if these persons have all sorts of personal issues at home and when they come on the road, they take it out on persons and people. In some cases, I am not saying that that is the case in this case. However, what I am trying to say is that if people change the culture in Jamaica of being respectful of the law, rules and regulation, and also these persons decide that they want to be professional, we would have a better Jamaica. However, people like them say, a soft word turn it away wrath and grievous word stir up anger. So therefore, if you push fire, more than likely you are going to get back fire. So people, what this means is that if you push out negative energy, more than likely you are going to get back negative energy because for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So people, at the end of the day, if persons decide that they don't want to change and they don't want to get a better Jamaica, it is only going to get wasara and wasara point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up